I'm so sick and in so much pain. If I could have figured out today how to delete all my YouTube videos, I would have done that. I need my will done, like, like a year ago, like yesterday, like today. I'm too sick to write it out. I need my affairs in order. I'm in so much pain. I'm so sick. I've got... I think I've got an infection all throughout my gut, just inside me everywhere. For years, I've been trying to get help with it. I, my gut is blown up like I'm nine months pregnant. Coming out of my hair, my ears. Feels like all my... Um, so it feels like all my teeth are coming out. It feels like my teeth are falling out. I'm in so much pain. It's interesting. Um, I think, you know, it could be SIBO. It could be a fungal infection. It could be yeast overgrowth. I think it might be SIBO. My gut, stomach feels infected. So I basically stopped eating. Today was day three. Went uh went carnivore. The only thing I've had every day is meat. And I can't believe how terrible I feel. And I can't believe how my belly is just so still severely blown up. There's something so wrong. It's an infection I can't get around. I need an advocate. I'm at the point. You know, six six hours in the ER last Saturday. I can't. I, and and then they still weren't taking me. They were taking me, taking people that were coming in after me. I can't go on like this. So this, this is curious to me. I can't believe how much pain I'm in. My face, my brain, my joints, my belly. Like, it's like all the, my, I can't believe how much pain I'm in. And I thought when I went off carbs, and fruits and vegetables. I thought I might feel a little bit better today. I can't believe how how much pain I'm in. I can't believe how much pain I'm in. All the symptoms, tinnitus, sinuses are killing me. My hair is all infected. I wash my hair, it's like squeaky clean and it smells nice. There's hardly any of it left. It's just so pathetic. I wash my hair and hours later, there's just like severe stuff in my hair, like severe dandruff. It doesn't matter how many times I shan't. And I scrub really well with my nails and shampoo and conditioner. It's not the shampoo. It's not the conditioner. Every oh, Patients everywhere tell me it's the products I'm using. No, it's not. My stomach is hurts. Anything that goes in my mouth, gas is just blowing right up. I think it's SIBO. I think I need antibiotics. Ironically, you Google that. What kind of anti antibiotics do you need for SIBO? It'll say cipro, ciprofloxacin, like a. Uh, a fluoroquinolone or an, another one. So that's horrifying. Seeing that that's recommended without a warning, you know? Because how many people do we know who've been injured?
you know, I went to bed last night, just, just wanted to die, just in so much pain, just so sick like I am right now. And having a break on the gut should be helpful, right? I wake up feeling just as bad. And I'm scared. I feel so bad right now. Really, really scared I'm going to wake up this way. Can't go on like this. The last maybe two weeks, it's like my heart. It's like I, I really feel like I'm just going to drop. Like, like my, my, my chest can't take this. It's like all of my weight is on my heart. I stand up or I walk. It's like, I feel like a ticking time bomb. I feel like I'm going to collapse. I'd rather not be here than have a heart attack or a stroke. Because I have no family to take care of me. so sad about this healthcare system how they bully patients how hard it is to get basic health care and you know what it's been like this for years it's it's like this for a lot of people basic stuff is just too complicated I am barely eating, and I can't believe my gut. Like, I'm eating. I had meat every day for three days. Try to starve out the if, if it's bacterial overgrowth. And I can't believe how sick I am. I think it's just really, really advanced. Because this has been going on for years. I've been trying to get help with my gut. No one has time. I can't go on like this. I can't believe this is happening. I can't, I can't go into the ER for 12 hours because I just start to lose it. I, I just start to rage. I can't stand it. I, it just feels like in, injustice. Things should not take years to solve. Sitting there you know, six hours, eight hours, 12 hours, 16 hours. I'm just, I, I, I just, you know what? I'm not sleeping. I just can't handle it. I just cannot handle it. And last three times I've been to the ER, I got different referrals for the sinuses and stuff. The referrals never go through. I don't know if they're not sending them. Like, why does any of this not, why does any of this surprise me? Can't take it anymore. Like I just can't do this anymore. And isolation and not having family. I don't want to give up, God. I'm suffering now. I'm suffering so bad. It, it, it is so... You know what? The whole goddamn thing trying to get an antibiotic out of a doctor. You know, it, it's whatever whatever you want or think that you need. They think, they're, they think you're manipulating, right? If you, you're desperate to sleep and you want a sleeping pill, they don't want to give you that. You're manipulated. I mean, if you're desperate for, you know, you're in a lot of pain, they think you're trying to manipulate them for, for painkillers. Even when you don't even want pills, you want relief, you want answers. 
then you're trying to manipulate them for health care that you don't deserve. You need an antibiotic? They think you're manipulating them for antibiotics. They don't want to overprescribe antibiotics. They don't want to give you an antibiotic. It's all, it always feels like, well, you're, you're trying to get something out of them that, that you don't deserve or you're manipulating them. That's the way they make you feel. I'm so sick of it. And everything has to escalate to the point where you're, you're just done. And then they say that you're the problem, right? I need help. I need help and there's nowhere there's nowhere to go to and be respected and get the right kind of care prompt and have someone listening to you and not trying to blow you off in five minutes. And this it escalates, right? It's the snowball going down the hill. I just I I I can't do this all this stuff and not sleep. I can't do it anymore. Like it's literal torture. It's so hard to sleep. It's so hard to fall asleep. Sitting upright in a CPAP hurts my face so bad. And to fall asleep that way every night. I had to wake up and my, my face and my teeth hurt so bad from the CPAP. And my sinuses hurt so bad. It just doesn't stop and there's nowhere to go to for help. And my stomach hurts before I even open my eyes in the morning. And I'm only sleeping two or three hours. And I'm itchy from head to toe. I'm falling asleep and you're itchy from head to toe. You wake up and you're itchy and in pain. And you think... I have no family and I have to go through a whole day like this again. What's the point of getting up? <sighs> and this is health care. This is what health care does to you. I'm living the dream. I'm living Canadian health care. And I'm losing everything. This is not free if you lose everything. It's not free if you end up losing everything. <laughs> Makes me so angry. It's just so unfair. And it's just insanity. It's bizarre how nobody cares. <laughs> they think it must be your fault. 